Hello to all of you dear ones. Welcome to the Fixed Focus program. In this program, I want to make a change of use from the small model that shows the performance of the Fixed Focus system. In the Fixed Focus system, a solar dish moves in such a way that its focus is always at a fixed point. And whatever position the sun is placed in, the focus is fixed at a fixed point, whether the sun is on the horizon or vertical. Therefore, the solar dish in this system is able to rotate vertically and horizontally. To get to know more, I invite you to watch a short film about the fixed focus system. You saw how the system actually works. Today I want to use a lens instead of a solar dish in the fixed focus system. Maybe you have the interest and facilities to use a lens instead of a solar dish. I prepared this lens only for use in this video and I will introduce you the working method of the fixed focus system with the lens. Well, let's go to continue the program. Of course, replacing the solar dish with a lens has its own advantages and disadvantages, which we will discuss. You can see a variety of ways to use solar lenses in the figure. And it is extremely important to use a system that can change the direction of the lens completely automatically. So a solar concentrator can easily be made with a lens. But it is possible to use a lens instead of using a solar dish in the fixed focus system. For this, I first open the flat small solar dish. If the solar dish has a solid structure, two long screws are sufficient to connect it to the fixed focus system. Which I open them. Now I have taken out the flat solar dish and those who want to have information about making the flat solar dish can refer to the video. To connect the lens to the system, I first open its handle. I have to place the lens against the direction of the solar dish. I do this without damaging the lens. And only by a few metal washers. Of course, by rotating the base screws around the support, I make it suitable for the diameter of the lens.
I now put the lens in place. And on the contrary, the solar dish is placed on top and moves. Now I put a screw in place of the lens handle. And I pass this rope, which is actually a towing wire, through the place where the reel should be. As you can see the lens can be moved. And by pulling the rope, it moves upwards. And when the sun is on the horizon it is placed in the horizontal position. And when the sun is vertical, it is placed at the top. And you can see that the lens can be moved in any direction and the focus can be fixed like a solar dish. Using the dish in the fixed focus system has advantages that you can see in the figure. Also, using solar lenses also has its own advantages. When we use a lens, there is no need for a slit because the focal point is placed under it. In the case of using a solar dish, it was necessary to create a gap on the solar dish to pass through the base of the dish's focus. It should be noted that there are different ways to move the lens vertically. For example, you can connect the extension of the base to a wire and tie the rope there. And with the movement of the bases, the lens goes up and down, and this depends on your initiative. Another advantage of using a lens is that the focus base can be considered very short, and in this case the height of the system will be less. Therefore, using the lens has two advantages. But the main disadvantage of using a lens is that the focus of the sunlight is less than 90%, because making a precise lens will be very expensive. Of course, the edges of the lens will scatter the light and reduce the focus efficiency, as shown in the figure. In the case of solar dishes, it will be higher than 90%. Also, the cleaning of the solar dish is done only on one side, and in the case of the lens, it should be done on both sides. Another important point is that the solar tracker should be placed in front of the sun and on the lens when using a solar lens. If your lens has a long focal length, you can place two lenses on top of each other to reduce the focal length. According to the figure, two lenses can be placed on top of each other. Of course, the more the number of lenses on top of each other, the shorter the focal length, and you can see its calculation in the figure. And in this case, the efficiency of concentration decreases. I hope this program has been of interest to you. Goodbye until the next program.